Today, I made the oldest player on every NBA team a 99 overall with every single Hall of Fame badge. Starting it off in Washington, we've got Jonas Valanciunas. At only 32, he's the oldest player on this young Wizards roster. Good luck saving Washington Jonas. Now moving on to the Warriors, Steph Curry is their oldest player. Unfortunately for them, he was already their best player. Now he's going to be even better, which is cool but it would have been better for them if it was somebody like Draymond. For the Blazers, it's Jeremy Grant. Again, Portland is a really young team. Grant's the oldest player at only 30. For the T-Wolves, it's Uncle Joe Ingles. Now, this is a real old man. 37? Joe can still hoop, though. I mean, he'll really be able to hoop in this video at a 99. For the Thunder, it's the Bald Eagle. Alex Caruso is the oldest player at only 30. Caruso is going to be perfect in their lineup at the two guard spot I mean already I was excited to see him on this Thunder team just as a role player but now he's gonna get to be a star for the Suns it's Kevin Durant this isn't ideal for them because KD was already their best player for the Spurs it's Chris Paul now this is fire 99 overall Paul alongside Wemby I like this duo. Will they be able to do anything? I guess we're going to find out. For the Rockets, it's Uncle Jeff living up to the name. He's 38. Kelly Olynyk is a 99 overall for the Raptors. For the Pistons, it's Tim Hardaway Jr. Good luck saving Detroit. For the Pels, it's CJ McCollum. CJ's already 33. Man, some of these guys in the league are getting old quick. James Johnson for the Indiana Pacers. I think the Pacers have him on the team as like an enforcer, but now he's going to be out there hooping. Also, with Siakam being a power forward, I'm going to move Pascal to center. Actually, that doesn't work. Can I move Johnson to the three? I guess we'll do that instead. For the Nuggets, it's DeAndre Jordan. Denver has an absolutely loaded front court with 299 overalls in the Joker and DJ. Quick intermission from the video. I paid Ronnie2k $100 to get y'all to subscribe to the channel. Roll the clip. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Ronnie2k. I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to uh, subscribe to Danny2k. Uh, he's trying to get to 100k on YouTube. Hopefully it's uh, going to happen. Let's make it happen. So I'd appreciate if y'all subscribe. Back to the video, man. Good luck saving the Nets, Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich was so nice for the Pistons, and then he wasn't nearly as good when he got traded to the Knicks. Now he got traded again to the Nets. We'll see how he does. For the Mavs, it's Klay Thompson. They won't be calling him Clank in today's video. He's going to be hitting for sure. You pair him with Luka and Kyrie, this team's going to be dangerous. For the Magic, it's Corey Joseph. Not going to lie, I didn't even know he was still in the league. For the Lakers, it's LeBron James. Nobody's surprised about this. You can't go two minutes without watching a game and then mentioning how LeBron is 142 years old. For the Knicks, it's campaign, which isn't the best because now both their players are small guards, but you need Payne and Brunson starting, so I'm going to run Cam at the two. For Sacramento, it's their new addition to Mar DeRozan. Now, DeRozan's already really good, but he gets even better. For Utah, it's Patty Mills. Patty slots in perfectly at the point guard position. Mills has had a great career as a role player gotta give him his props speaking of great role players Taj Gibson is a 99 for the Hornets for the Heat it's Kevin Love this man looks like he's 50 bro he's been having gray hair since about 2010 for the Hawks it's Bogdanovich this man was going crazy in the Olympics for the Grizzlies you got D Rose Rose and Ja this is gonna be a tough duo for sure for the Clippers it's PJ Tucker PJ's really old I know people talk about Ron being old, but golly, PJ's old too. Speaking of old, there's Al Horford. He's making the Celtics even more stacked. For the Cavs, it's George Niang. He's only 31 and the oldest player on the Cavs. Ignore Jay Crowder. They picked him up to fill the roster.
roster. For the Bulls, it's Vucevic. Personally, I think the Bulls should just trade their vets and start over. But maybe at a 99, Vooch will be able to save Chicago. They'll build a statue of him right next to MJ. For the Bucks, it's Brooke Lopez. Watch out for this team. Giannis, Dame, Chris, 99 overall, Brooke. And the last player is Kyle Lowry. He already had a 99 overall, but now he's a 99 overall player. Now that we're done going over the rosters, let's jump straight into the simulation. Let's see how these old heads do. Is that a Clay Thompson MVP? 24, 11, and 10 from Clay. I forgot to mention, I boosted everybody's shot tendencies. They're all on like 100. So these players will be out there shooting with their newfound talent at a 99 overall. And Clay was taking advantage. What a season. Devin Carter, rookie of the year. The Bald Eagle. They put him on the bench. Sometimes I can't save 2K from their own stupidity. Why in the world is Alex Caruso off the bench? Brooke Lopez, DPOY, look at Splash Mountain. Jalen Johnson, most improved. Ant-Man, clutch player of the year. And Michael Malone wins coach of the year for the Nuggets. The All-NBA first team looks like something you've never seen before. You've got Clay, Jeremy Grant, Bogdanovich, CJ, and Tim Hardaway Jr. Second team, there's a familiar name, LeBron James, followed up by George Niang and PJ Tucker. Then you got a Luka appearance. There's Vucevic as well. Third team, it's Corey Joe, Patty Mills, Bogdanovich, Joe Ingles. Oh yeah, and Steph Curry. Heard he's okay at basketball. And then here are your all defensive teams. A lot of our 99 overalls making appearances. Now let's see what teams were really good as a result of their 99 overall old head. We didn't have any 60 plus win teams. So this kind of balanced out the league. Number one in the West was the Nuggets. Yeah, their front court was probably insane. The Mavs with MVP Clay makes sense. Thunder were in third. They started. Ooh, don't, oh my gosh. What are y'all doing? Don't get me wrong. Lou Dort's great, but really? And then fourth, you had the Kings with 99 overall DeRozan. Let's see if anybody notable missed out. The Warriors missed it. Grizz missed it with 99 overall D-Rose. Rockets didn't make it. Sorry, Unk. Spurs were the 14 seed. Dang it, Chris. You let me down. The Pelicans? Nah, y'all really let me down. Disband the franchise, move them to the G League or some. Over in the East, the top team was the Celtics. Is anybody surprised about this? Second, you had the Sixers. Bubble butt going crazy. I'm sorry. Third, you had the Atlanta Hawks with Bogdanovich. That's actually kind of surprising. And in fourth was the New York Knicks campaign doing his thing. And yeah, the teams that missed it, you kind of expect. It was the Bulls, Raptors, Hornets, Nets, and Wizards. No huge surprises there. Okay, now we can jump into round one. First round, we'll go through things pretty quickly. If we get any game sevens, though, I'm going to for sure jump in the Simcast. Bro, we got so many game sevens. Four of them. First one we're going to be checking out is between the Magic and the Hawks. Bogdanovich versus Corey Joseph. Y'all know when you're watching the game and they'll pop up with the upcoming games. It'll say like tomorrow at 9.30, Warriors, Lakers, LeBron versus Curry. What if they were like tomorrow at 9.30, Hawks versus Magic, Corey Joseph versus Bogdanovich. Isn't that a crazy matchup to think about? But that's what I like about these 99 overall videos. Players you wouldn't really expect or see that often in these videos get some more shine. And we've got a close one in game seven, so we might as well jump in. Currently, the Atlanta Hawks are up by four and they have the ball. Two minutes and 17 seconds remain. Here's Bogdanovich with it. Currently, Trey Young is not in, but no need to worry. Bogdanovich is the star anyway. He'll get the screen. Bogdanovich to the basket, dumps it down to Capella. Capella has the mismatch, but he kicks it out to Nance. Now it goes to Rizache. Rizache over to Bogdanovich, but an illegal screen was set by Larry Nance. Come on, Larry. And Trey didn't sub in for the Hawks, so he must have fouled out. It's going to all be on the shoulders of Bogdanovich. But now here's Joseph for the magic. He'll go to the basket, put up the layup over two defenders. 
and get it to go tough. Magic within two points here. And Bogdanovich and Corey Joe, they're guarding each other. This is fire. Bogdanovich will get the screen from Akangwu. He pulls. He can't hit. Isaac the rebound. It'll go straight to Joseph. All right, Corey, can you go get another one? Potentially tie this game up. You could even take the lead with the three-pointer. Joseph gets the screen from Boncaro. Goes to the basket. He's going to go up. Yeah, that's a bad shot. Johnson will grab the board. Jalen Johnson down to Bogdanovich. What a find. Jalen Johnson looking like Magic Johnson with that pass. And it's a four-point lead for the Atlanta Hawks. Does Corey have something to say? He has not been swinging the rock at all. Why pass when the rim's open, Corey? He shoots another, misses again. You might need to pass. Here comes Jalen Johnson. He kicks it to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich, no hesitation, knocks it down. He's got 13 in the fourth. It's not looking good for the Magic. They're going to call timeout. Still 52 seconds left. So if they can hit a three on this possession, they might have a chance. But if the Hawks get a stop right here, it's probably over with. Isaac into Boncaro to Suggs to Wagner. Now it goes to Joseph. Joseph goes to the basket, misses the layup. This man would not swing the rock. He refused to pass it. Bogdanovich gets the W. 35, 21, and 11. That is ridiculous. A valiant effort from Joseph. He probably just should have trusted his teammates a little bit more in the final moments of that game. And after that game seven, we still got three more to go. Our next one is between the T-Wolves and Thunder. Joe Ingles versus Caruso. For some reason, the Thunder have Caruso coming off their bench. I'm going to let it rock, though, because the Thunder win enough in these videos as it is. It's a three-point ball game. Minute five left. These game sevens have been delivering. We've had two close ones in a row love to see it currently the thunder are up by three and they have the ball j-dub will give it into sga shea is defended by conley man shea pass it to alex caruso let him cook gilgis alexander gets the screen from hardenstein steps back gilgis alexander gives it up to holmgren in the corner chet back to shea Shea will get the screen from Holmgren. Shea finds Chet on the pop, and Chet can't convert. Ingles will grab the rebound. Let's see what you got, Joe. Joe finds Edwards wide open. That's the clutch player of the year right there. Ant-Man with a huge shot. And now it is a tie ball game with 30 seconds remaining. Gilgis Alexander gets the screen from Chet. Shea steps back. Jumper. Good. What a shot for Shea. And apparently Joe Ingles just set an assist record. Do the Timberwolves have an answer? They can go for the lead with a three or tie it with a two. It'll go into Anthony Edwards. Edwards shoots a tough mid. He misses. Ingles can't grab the board. And it's going to be J-Dub going to the line. The Timberwolves are banking on a missed free throw from Williams. First one is good. Second one for J-Dub is also good. So it is a two possession game and the Timberwolves don't have any timeouts left. It would take a miracle. Mike Conley pulls the three. Unk cashes out. Big shot from Mike Conley. I know he's not the oldest player on the team, but Mike's pretty old too. And he comes through with a big shot. Now it's Lou Dort going to the line. First free throw for Dort is off. The Timberwolves catch a huge break. Second one for Dort is good. Minnesota can win it with a three here. Still about 10 seconds to go. Gobert will give it into Mike Conley. Conley walks it up the floor, gets the screen. Mike to Cat. Cat fakes out Chet, shoots the three, and he can't hit. It's over. The Thunder are moving on. That was a fun game. Topish with 17. Shea with 23. Caruso, 13, 9, and 6. They aren't giving my man minutes. But the Thunder still get the dub. That's how overpowered OKC is in this game. Bro, Joe had a monster triple-double. He was hooping. Playoff Joe was different. But the Timberwolves still couldn't finish the job. And guess what? We still got two more game sevens to go. Our next one is between Boston and Miami. The Heat are the eight seed looking to upset the number one seeded Celtics. The Heat and Celtics, they've faced each other so many times over these past five, six years. They've got a little rivalry going for sure. And what better way to continue the rivalry than with a close game? Minute 
minute 59 remaining. It is tied up. Celtics have the ball. Wait, is that Zachary on the Heat? They got Levine. They traded for him. Okay. And they still have Hero. Huh. I wonder who they even traded. Well, anyway. Peyton Pritchard with the rock here. Pritchard gets the screen from Horford. Why is Peyton Pritchard in the game with all due respect? Ball will go down to Horford in the post. And that was a three second. Nice. Oh yeah, by the way, our 99 overall players in this matchup are Al Horford and Kevin Love. So those are the two guys to watch out for. Both of them wearing the obscure number 42. Ball will go down to Love in the post. He puts up the layup, can't convert. Horford will grab the rebound. Big Al going to swing it over to Drew Holiday. Holiday going at Hero here. He's looking for Horford in the post. He finds him. Al going at K-Love. Fades away. Jumper is gashed. Beautiful shot from Horford. And the Celtics now have a two-point lead. Love sets the screen for Hero. Hero doesn't pass it down to Love. Okay, now he does. K-Love going at Horford. Spins. Puts up the layup. Misses. I thought he was about to spin right out of bounds. But he still ended up missing the layup. There's a steal from Josh Richardson. He came out of nowhere. And we've got a tie ball game. Josh Richardson jumped so high to get that steal. Less than a minute left here. Holiday lobs it up to Orford. It's interrupted by Kevin Love. Now here comes Richardson. Richardson gives it up to K-Love. Love right back to Richardson. To Bam, to Hero, to Butler. Jimmy dumps it down to Love. Love has the mismatch and takes advantage. The Miami Heat with a two-point lead. Still plenty of time for the Celtics to get back in this game, though. They can take the lead with the three ball. About 30 seconds on the clock. Holiday with it. He gives it down to Horford. Horford draws the double. Kicks out to Brown. Oh my gosh, Al, get out the paint. Another three second for Horford. What are you doing? And now the Celtics might foul or maybe they let the Heat play this one out. It looks like they're going to let the Heat play it out. They do have a timeout left. Couple second differential between the shot and game clock. Jimmy's going to waste some clock here. Butler needs to make a move about five seconds on the shot clock. Jimmy to the basket. Misses. He can't grab his own board. Celtics have five and a half left to either win this game with a three or send it to OT with a two. It's Jimmy. Jalen Brown inbounding. He'll give it in to Holiday. Is Holiday going to take this shot? No, he gives it down to Horford. Horford's layup is off. I don't even think he got it off in time. That was just a terrible play from the Celtics. I don't know why you would have Jalen Brown inbounding. He's probably one of the guys you'd want taking the shot, whether it's him, Horford, or Tatum. Celtics just absolutely collapsed. Mr. Three Seconds, Al Horford couldn't get out the paint, huh? And Kevin Love and the Heat are going to get the dub. Tatum had a spectacular performance for the Celtics, but he doesn't get to say we did it this time. All right, now let's head over to the West where the seven-seeded Jazz, led by Patty Mills, are trying to upset the two-seeded Mavs with MVP Clay. This would be major for Utah. I mean, the Mavs are clearly the better team on paper, but the Jazz are fighting hard in this game. Are we about to get another close one? Nope, it looks like the Mavs will close this one out in convincing fashion. They do have Luka on top of having 99 overall Clay, so these two were just getting to the buckets. And then you had Kyrie as well. Sorry, Patty Mills. Valiant effort. Oh my gosh, he averaged 40. Yeah, shout out to Patty. He left it all out there on the floor. In round one, we did see a major upset with the Heat beating the Celtics. They're moving on to the second round to take on the New York Knicks. We've got Cam Payne versus Kevin Love here. Our other Eastern Conference matchup is between Philadelphia and Atlanta. Kyle Lowry versus Bogdanovich over in the West. We got a good old Lakers Nuggets matchup. Now the problem for the Lakers is LeBron was already a high overall. They didn't get any other significant upgrades. While the Nuggets, they had a guy in DeAndre Jordan who's probably what like a 75 overall go all the way up to a 99. So it's going to be tough 
for the Lakers to win that one. And then we've got the Mavs taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Mavs narrowly escaped round one against the Jazz, and the Thunder did the same against the Timberwolves. After simulating a couple games of each series, the Mavs absolutely dominated against the Thunder, getting out of there in five. But we do have two series that are tied up into a piece that I want to check out. First one we're going to be checking out is between Atlanta and Philly. Then we'll head over to the West for Lakers Nuggets. Game five is always a big one for the momentum of the series. Most teams that win game five when the series is tied up at two to two go on to win the entire series. And we've got a close one here. Minute 31 remaining. Sixers are up by four. Atlanta Hawks have the ball. Anyeka Okongwu is inbounding. Okongwu will give it into Young. Young to Johnson to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich gives it up to Trey. Trey lets it fly. Gets it to go. Tough shot. Where's Kyle Lowry for the Sixers? Oh, did he foul out? He did. So the Sixers are going to have to do it without Lowry, but they do have George and Bede and Maxi. PG throws it away. Classic playoff P. Bogdanovich straight to the basket. His layup is good. So the Hawks, just like that, are up by a point. It's Keon Ellis with the rock for the Sixers. Ellis looking for Embiid in the post. He'll find him. Joel puts up a tough floater. Gets it to go. Sixers are up by a point now. But the Hawks, they've been hot in the clutch. Bogdanovich is defended by Oubre. Bogdanovich makes his move to the basket. Spins and is going to put up the layup over two. Get his own board. Kick out to Johnson for a three. Jalen Johnson can't convert. It's rebounded by George. George up to Ellis. Paul, George, what are you doing throwing the ball away? DeAndre Hunter is able to track it down. Now Johnson has it. Johnson down to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich attracting a lot of attention. Finds a wide open Hunter. Hunter can't knock it down. And now the Hawks are going to have to foul. Or are they? What are they doing? Okay, there you go. Sixers are not in the bonus just yet. So the Hawks are going to have to foul again. And it's going to be Ellis going to the line. First one for Keon Ellis is off. That's a big break if you're the Atlanta Hawks. Second one for Ellis is good. Hawks can win it with a three here. They call timeout. Clint Capella into Bogdanovich. I'd assume it's going to be Bogdanovich taking this shot. He finds Trey wide open and Trey knocks it down. Yeah, smart pass. Hawks are up by one, but the Sixers still have about five seconds. Martin into Ellis. Don't tell me Ellis is taking the shot. It goes down to Embiid. Embiid misses. And the Sixers lose game five. Trey Young with a huge shot for the Atlanta Hawks to win the ball game. 35 from Young. Bogdanovich a great game as well. And Lowry fouled out for Philly. All right, now we can head over to the West for game five. Lakers Nuggets. I'm surprised to see LA even in this series, but with 99 overall LeBron, anything is possible, I guess. And we've got another close game. Nuggets are up by five right now. Minute 49 left. Denver does have possession of the ball. Gordon We'll give it into Murray. Murray is defended by Connect Four. Jamal is looking for DJ. Jordan gets it at the top of the key, goes to the basket, and one. You're too small, Vando. And now DeAndre's a good free throw shooter as well. First one for Jordan is good. Or, well, that was his only one. I said first one like another one was coming up. Lakers down by eight. They're going to need a miracle. James gets the screen from Davis. LeBron going to pull a three ball and knock it down. Lakers back within five. Now they need some stops desperately. Joker gets the screen from Jordan. Jokic lobs it up. DeAndre completes it. Way to answer from DeAndre Jordan in the Nuggets. Bron's just going to have to pull off something crazy if the Lakers want to have any chance. He finds Reeves wide open. Reeves can't hit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the Nuggets probably got this one. DeAndre Jordan to Christian Brown. Brown is blocked, but the Nuggets will get it back. Porter Jr. is inbounding. He'll give it into Jordan. DeAndre sees Murray wide open. And oh my goodness. It's Jamal Murray putting the Lakers away in this one. DeAndre had a 30 ball. LeBron had a triple double. But it wasn't enough. The Nuggets take a 3-2 series lead. And now we can head back over to the Eastern Conference for Game 6 of Sixers Hawks. If the Sixers lose this one, they're out of here. And the Hawks are moving on to the Conference Finals. 
But if the Sixers win, we're going seven. And it's going to be a Hawks W, Bogdanovich with 37 points to lead the way. So in the East, our conference finals is set. It's Knicks Hawks. I'm sure Knicks fans will be delighted to see Trey Young again. And then over in the West, the Lakers are fighting to keep their season alive against Denver in game six. And it looked like LA had game six in the bag, but the Nuggets have really stormed back. We've got a one point ball game, two minutes and 13 seconds left. We'll see if James and company can keep the Lakers season going. Gordon is inbounding it for the Denver Nuggets. He'll give it into Jamal Murray. Murray is defended by D'Lo. He gets the screen. Murray pulls, knocks it down. Man, when Jamal Murray sees the Lakers, all his attributes go up. Two-point lead for the Denver Nuggets. Russell to Hayes to James. LeBron up to Hayes. Oh my goodness. Jackson Hayes, high-flying Hayes for the slam. Tie ball game here. Less than two minutes left. Joker's running some point center. He'll get the screen from Jordan. Jordan gets it intercepted by Vando. Here comes the Vandalorian in transition. He gives it to D'Lo. Ball goes straight to James. James fakes. Kicks it to Jackson Hayes. Hayes will ball fake. Hayes taking his time here on the wing. Jackson gives it up to Anthony Davis. Davis to LeBron. Wide open three. And it's off. LeBron has a 99 three-pointer. Hall of Fame shooting badges. And missed that shot. DeAndre gives it to Jokic. Jokic has the size advantage on Vando. But will give it to Jordan for the slam. And DJ gives the Nuggets a two-point lead. Is that Grant Williams about to check in for the Lakers? Yeah, Grant. Williams is in the game. Guess LA traded for Grant. Ball will go into Bron. Bron's just got to go get one for the Lakers. They're down by two right now. James gets the screen from Williams, lets the three fly, and knocks it down. Very timely bucket from James. He's got 52. 12 in the fourth quarter from LeBron. Jokic is defended by Davis here. It'll go down to DeAndre Jordan. Jordan draws the double team. Is he going to pass? Yep, he finds Brown. Brown over to Jamal Murray. Not much time on the shot clock here for Denver. Murray lets it fly. He has some room and he hits it. This man's the 99 overall. He can't miss against the Lakers. LA down by two. James trying to tie it and he will. We've got a Lakers Nuggets classic on our hands. It is a tie ball game. 30 seconds left. Denver with the ball. Joker gets the screen. Gives it down to DJ. Jordan kicks it out to Brown. Brown back to DeAndre. DeAndre going right at Grant Williams. We'll kick it to Christian. Not much time on the shot clock. It'll go to DJ to Murray. Oh no, Murray's about to, about to go get a bucket. Mid-range is off. Lakers grab the board. A rare Murray mid this LeBron set the record for threes made in a playoff game. The Lakers have Quentin Grimes now too? Anyway, 12.1 seconds remaining. Lakers can either win it here in regulation or send this ball game to OT. Grant Williams gives it into LeBron. You have to assume James will be taking the final shot. No, he kicks it to D'Lo. Russell gets the screen from Williams, pulls the three, and he can hit. We've got more basketball on the way. I can't believe Bron swung it to D'Lo. I know Russell had a little bit of room, but LeBron's got to take that shot in that situation, man. You're talking about LeBron James, 99 overall, and he's swinging it to D'Angelo Russell? What are we talking about? And in overtime, the game has remained close. Minute 53 left. Denver is down by three, but they have the ball. The Nuggets have been running Jokic as their point center. He's been setting every everything up running pick and rolls with DeAndre Jordan Jokic down to Jordan Jordan draws the double team still goes up still converts Nuggets back within a point here in overtime LeBron James going downhill kicks it to a wide open Russell and he hits timely bucket for D'Lo and the Lakers have a four point lead as the clock ticks under a minute 30 Jordan sets the screen for Murray Murray crazy shot is up and it's off James will grab the rebound. LA with a chance to expand the lead. Russell working in the corner here. Drives to the basket. He's in heavy traffic. Russell lobs it up to AD. And Jokic skies for the steal. Joker up to MPJ to Jordan. And Jordan will slam it home. The Denver 
Nuggets back within two after the Jordan jam. Here comes LeBron James gonna fake. He'll kick it out to Williams. Williams to a wide open Reeves and Austin Reeves knocks it down. Back to five for the Lakers. Denver's got a score here. Murray with it. He'll get the screen from DJ. Jordan straight to the basket. Man, Grant Williams is getting cooked. So it is now a one possession game. The Lakers need a bucket to make it a two possession game. James to the basket and one. LeBron comes through in the clutch. And James can expand the lead for LA. He knocks down the free throw. Lakers up by six it's looking like this game might just be over with barring a miracle from denver Jokic with the rock down to jordan grant williams had to get cooked one more time before this game was over but now the nuggets are gonna have to foul they're gonna send lebron to the line and he's a 99 overall he's got 60 make it 61 hold on remember mj's record for points in a game in a playoff game sorry was 63 lebron james is gonna have a chance to beat that he just needs two more points we're gonna stay in here to see if james can make history porter jr into murray murray at the top of the key here gonna get the screen from jordan he has room and hold on forget that record for braun we might have ourselves a game again man give the ball to braun he's trying to beat a record we're putting delo at the line what are the lakers doing russell first free throw is good second one for russell is off oh my goodness the nuggets might be back in this Jokic with the rock Move a little faster, big dog. He's going to pull the three. He misses. Davis the board. Russell shooting more free throws. Are you serious? Bron could have broke that record, but instead he finishes with a 62 point triple double not too shabby and this lakers nuggets series is going seven it's our only second round series that is still going on but i gotta check has anybody else broken that scoring record patty mills dropped 64 well it's official patty mills is better than michael jordan all right here we go game seven lakers nuggets and oh my goodness the nuggets came to play in this one the lakers are gonna fall short lebron 41 james James tried to carry LA, but they couldn't finish the job. So the Mavs will be taking on Denver in the Western Conference Finals. And over in the East, it's the Hawks and the Knicks. The Hawks, an unlikely team to be doing so well in this video. After four games, the Knicks and Hawks are tied up at two apiece. Meanwhile, over in the West, the Nuggets are dominating against the Mavs. They're up three to one. And in game five, the Atlanta Hawks get a big W. Bogdanovich a good game. Trey Young a good game. And now now we're going to see if the Knicks come to play in game six or if they'll get bounced out. The Knicks came to play. We've got a game seven. Brunson with 42, paying a nice triple double. Trey Young had 31, Bogdanovich with 22. And also over here in the West, the Mavs won game five. If they win game six and four seven, things could get interesting. The Mavs can make a 3 1 comeback. This series is going seven. Luka, 41 points in this one. Clay, 31, 9, and 15. So we've got two game sevens, one in each conference. This is exactly what I'm here for. Absolute cinema. Our first game seven wasn't very close. The Knicks dominated campaign 38, 11, and 11. And New York is going to the final. Now over here in the West, can the Mavs complete the 3-1 comeback? We're going to find out in the final minute 22 of game seven. The Nuggets are up by two points here. Denver has the ball. 99 overall Clay is in. You got Luka. You got Kyrie jokers in the game where's dj at don't tell me jordan fouled out he did foul out that's a huge loss for the nuggets jordan was so good in that lakers series ball will go down to irving irving to gafford now it goes down to Doncic. Doncic draws the double team beautiful pass to a wide open clay how do you leave the 99 overall wide open and the mavs have the lead here's jamal with the rock he lobs it up to joker wow Jokic will finish the lob. And now the Nuggets have a one-point lead. Here comes Luka Doncic for Dallas. Doncic attacking the basket, draws the double team, goes up over two and misses. Not the smartest play there from Luka. 
Ball goes to MPJ. Porter Jr. to Gordon to Murray. Murray down to Jokic. Jokic easy lay. Derek Lively caught sleeping. Nuggets are up by three. Here comes Doncic. Luka attacking the basket. Draws the double team. Kicks out to a wide open Irving. And he's fouled on a three. I thought that was about to be an and one. First free throw for Irving is good. Second free throw for Irving is also good. And Kyrie goes three of three at the line. Game is all tied up. About 30 six seconds remain. Aaron Gordon will give it into Jamal Murray. Murray is defended by Luka. He'll get the screen from Brown. Now it goes down to Jokic. Joker going at Gafford. Jokic attracting a lot of attention. Kicks out to an open Brown. Christian Brown knocks it down. And the Nuggets are up by three. Still 24 seconds on the clock for the Dallas Mavericks to go for the tie with a three ball here. And they've got some great shooters on their team. Gafford into Kyrie Irving. Speaking of great shooters, Irving to the basket. Short jumper is off. And now the Nuggets are going to the line. Gafford just fouled out. First free throw for Murray is good. It's not looking good for Dallas. They have no timeouts left. And they are down by five points. It'd take a miracle. Looking like the Mavs will fall short of this 3-1 comeback. Luka pulls the three, misses, and that is going to do it. The league MVP, Clay Thompson, is out of here. Luka, a monster triple-double. Clay a big triple-double. But the Mavs couldn't get it done. And the Nuggets are moving on to the finals against the Knicks. Here we go. Two loaded squads going at it. The Knicks, they're more talented in the backcourt. The Nuggets, they're more talented in the front court. Game one of the series will go to Denver. They win game two as well. Oh, this isn't going to be much of a series, huh? The Knicks finally get a win in game four, but the Nuggets win it in five. DeAndre Jordan and Nikola Jokic were too good of a front court. They win the title together. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.